Hey guys, Brandon Kaywood here. Um, ever since I put out the Not All Wear Cape series, I've gotten a lot of requests to put out some tutorial material. And I thought I would uh, go ahead and get started on that with a rather simple yet really effective tutorial that I think could benefit a lot of people in the compositing world. I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials like this, but uh, this is the way that I do it. And I think I'm just going to dive right in here. So let's open up Photoshop. Okay, so what we want to do here, we want to take this image. Um, I've already worked this up, and I, this has actually already been used for a, a catalog cover. Um, but I took all the, the sparks and embers and stuff out of it so we could redo it. But basically, we want to give it that movie poster look that has, you know, the burning embers and the ashes flying across. And uh, it's really simple. And I'm one of those people who don't really like using stock that often. So I typically like to shoot my own stock if you will. Um, so first things first, I want to kind of touch base on how I created the embers to begin with. I basically went outside uh, at night. I recommend having a fire extinguisher at hand and, and uh, probably doing this with, with another person. It, that would probably help. I shot it by myself, but it would have made it a lot easier if I had somebody else there with me. And basically I just set my camera to an ISO of 800 uh, a shutter speed of one, one twenty-fifth, and I think I was at f four. That way, the the shutter speed was quick enough that it could kind of freeze the uh, the ashes and stuff, and the ISO was high enough that you know it wasn't completely dark. And shooting at f four, it kind of kept everything nice and in focus. So that's what I did for this image. Let's go ahead and drag this over, drop it in. All right, so the first step of this is really basic and simple. And obviously, it's applying uh, a screen mode. But before you apply the screen mode, luckily, the way I shot it, my background is pretty black. But if it isn't that way, then you might want to apply a levels adjustment. And what you would do. Uh, you know, clip it to the to that layer, and you would push your blacks until you know they got more and more black. But this image is already like that, um, so we're not going to worry about it. So, so apply your screen blending mode, and wow, there you go. And honestly, at this point, it doesn't look bad. You could probably, you know, get away with some images just by using the screen blending mode. But I want to take it just one step further. Um, so what I like to do is I like to kind of add a motion blur. Because if this were really flames or sparks or anything like that, um, you would, you know, they would be coming from somewhere in some direction. So what I do is I add a motion blur. Kind of figure up what angle. I think that they would be coming from. And of course, this along with anything is all subjective, how you see the image, um, what you think is good, what's enough, what's not enough. I don't like a ton of motion blur. Let's maybe go with a, like a 10. There we go. See the difference there? All right, so that's that. All right, so there we have our motion blur. And then another thing I like to do is duplicate the, uh, the layer. So drag it down, duplicate. What that does, that kind of gives the glow a little bit more glow. But I then like to add a Gaussian blur to that layer. So usually about a radius of like, 30-ish. What this is going to do is going to give all those embers their own individual kind of a glow. See that? Okay, apply that. So yeah, that's basically it. And then of course, you know, you can always put these 
in a group together and add you a layer mask. And if there's parts that you don't want, just take a take a black brush. You know, you can kind of paint over. Sorry guys, my computer is really laggy with the screen recording software. And so on. Or you could duplicate it. Flip it. You know, resize it. Whatever you want to do. Um, and I recommend adding these in different layers. I've already flattened this top image, so obviously I can't go and add, you know, flint sparks behind uh, each each person. But you get the the general idea. So I hope this has kind of helped you out a little bit. I'm going to leave a download link so you can download this image of sparks. You can try this out on your own. Um, just look in the description down low down below. And uh, yeah, if you like this tutorial and would like me to do some more, be sure to let me know and uh, we'll rock it out. So thank you very much. Tomorrow.